Okay, we're going to look at stock 303. And uh, I can remember in the old days they talked about a hog's leg, pulling a hog's leg. Well, I never quite understood what they meant by a hog's leg. Okay, but uh, looking at this, uh, it looks like a Heinz and Demmer holster. And on the back it says Heitz, Heinz and Demmer, uh, model number 1495. Um, it looks like it's been worn. Uh, definitely, you know, it is dark on the uh, on the holster. Uh, you know, doesn't look like a lot of water or, or a lot of wear. Um, you know, a nice gold or brass button snap. Uh, we open it up and we find Colt on the grip. Ooh. I love it when I see Colt on a grip because that probably means there's a Colt inside of here. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what this is. Hmm, it is a colt. Uh, and this is a hog's leg. So that must be what they meant by a colt, hog's leg. Um, says on the top that um, uh, it is a colt, uh, Hartford, Connecticut, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, new service, 45 colt. So this is a new service, 45 colt. Um, on the uh, back end, we do have the, the colt horse. So here's the horse on the back, okay? And that's nice and clear. We can see there is some wear from going in and out of the holster. It doesn't look like it's been ever been really wet inside the holster. There's no, there is wear on the cylinder or a little wear on the cylinder, but not I mean, the, the balloon's not totally gone. It's still kind of there. It's just that um, some of the balloon is removed. The bottom of the uh, grips, everything looks to be, there's a lanyard uh, hook on the bottom. Looks like it's been spun back and forth. I don't think it was ever used with the holster. Um, None of the screws look like they've been removed a lot. The grip doesn't look like it's ever been removed. Uh, the frame doesn't look like it's ever been taken apart. The cylinder spins freely. Um, I don't think it's been shot a lot, if you want to know the truth. Um, doesn't look like it. So, it has... Um, serial number 45402412. It's hard to read without the glasses. Uh, extractor works very well. Uh, everything functions very well on the firearm. Very smooth. You always love, and it's an early Colt release. If you look at the, the Colt release that we have on the firearm, it, it comes up and flares out. It's not the button that we would see on the late model. So obviously this tells us this is an earlier model. Uh, it does have the combat hammer on it. Um, the bluing was at one time very, very good. But from carrying it in a holster it gets that way. It, actually, it gets real bad if you uh, let the moisture get into the holster because the tannic acid could ruin the bluing altogether. Got that, that buttery Colt feel to it. Yeah, great condition. So, once again, new service, 45 Colt. Uh, stock number 303, artsgunsandammo.com. Credit card, uh, whatever funds clear, we're sending it off to your FFL. This is something you can put in your collection, something you can carry, uh, you know, it's a fairly big firearm, um, but it's a very nice firearm. The front top, or the front blade is very tall on it. Uh, it it's obviously not a target pistol per se. Uh, give us a call. Let us know you want it. We'll lay it away for you or hold it for you. Um, from Arts, Guns, and Ammo, Art Gordon. You guys have a wonderful day, and thanks for stopping by and looking at our channel. Talk to you later.